All right, hey everybody, this is Brian. I wanted to give you the uh, upper yard walk to show you around where our fall, or end of summer, fall garden is going in the direction it's heading. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See the strawberries are really, really filling in this area. Looks nice. We got a uh, half a quart of gojis last weekend, so we should get a whole bunch more this week. You can see they're all ready to be picked. Lots of them on here. And just look at that on that one there. All through here, all ready to pick. So that's it. That's good. This one here did snap back pretty good with the amount of berries it's got. You know, the watering system got the, a little later set up for this one, so I don't expect as many berries this year on this bush. But uh, after this year, I'm going to definitely cut back some of these bushes. Cause, I mean, you can see we've pretty much got our trail covered with berries over there. And I'm going to trim that back for next year. These sunflowers are all blooming. Our little sunflower island we put in. I'll put in a little makeshift trail here from some of the stones we had that were buried back there underneath the trees. That was one of last weekend's projects. Apples. Probably another week or two they'll be ready to pick. They've got their nice rosy color on them. Got a really nice taste. So we've got more tomatoes to pick up here. Let's see what this way. We picked off quite a few red tomatoes this week. Paula made some ketchup a lot of these tomatoes that we've been getting. It's one of those things like right now in this time of year, you can kind of just tell fall is coming because the, the tomatoes are starting to slow down and everything's kind of just kind of like going into a, a reset mode where it's just kind of all kind of just, you know, you just get that feel because <laughs> you can just tell the tomatoes just aren't as vigorous. They're starting to put all the last of their energy into the fruits. To ripen them up. Here's that uh, white Russian kale we had. I mean, look at how big this has gotten up here. It's gonna be great. Hopefully this is gonna keep going through winter. I'll be able to come up here and grab some of this. Got one of our volunteer pumpkin squash things. I don't know what this thing is. It was a pop-up from last year. I mean, look at look at the sheer amount of uh, pink boar tomatoes on this thing. Holy cow! I mean, there's a lot on this. Back there, right here. A bunch more here. We're gonna have to harvest this whole weekend. We'll probably just pick pink boar. Scarlet runner beans are putting on their pods. Paul and I tried to eat some of these things, and uh, we decided we we're going to let these all just kind of wither and die. And then we'll eat the dried ones, because they'll taste a lot better. I mean, these pods, even if you get them at this young stage, you start eating on these things, it's like chewing on like one of those fruit roll-ups. You know, after you cook them, and it's got this, <laughs> they're just like leathery. <laughs> I mean, they're terrible. I mean, they're pretty to look at, you know, up through here. The hummingbirds really love them, and the bees. But uh, man, as a bean, they just, they just, they're, they're terrible, they're like shoe leather. I guess maybe if you got them at this stage here, you'd probably be okay, but they have this kind of a fuzzy, furry feel to them. It's just, oh, when they're at this stage, boy, they are terrible. Paula put some of these, we cooked these and we ate them for dinner and, oh, they're bad. <laughs> oh, what else? I gotta stop being Mr. Giggles here. Got our pears up here. I'm probably gonna harvest off those before they fall. We had one of our other pears fall off down below, and uh, our little pug uh, Edgar, he grabbed it when was running around with it. Apples. A bunch of these will be ready in a probably the end of the month, September. And we've got our cucumbers and beans along here. Looks like we've got a couple of cucumbers to harvest off. 
beans are kind of just doing a little soil repair because this area has never had anything planted so I didn't expect much out of this but uh, I wanted to get some nitrogen nodules nodules put in there from the beans just to start proving that area so for next year it'll be a little bit better and maybe I'll amend that soil a little bit but uh, it was just an experiment area all right well it's kind of the uh, the upper yard walk and I'll do some more videos of the other uh, things we got going on here at the homestead all right talk to you guys again bye